All right, so this is Sabata Falls. It's actually near our property. A lot of people go here because you walk up these falls and uh, there's a big waterfall up the mountain up there. And uh, it's very refreshing because like right now you've got this cold stream of air just flowing down with the water. And uh, there's a nice little trail that you take to get here. And it's usually pretty populated. I'd say this is somewhat average, I guess, for summer. It actually gets worse. We've seen it much worse than this. But uh, it's fun, it's a nice place. So if you're ever in the, the Valley area, San Louis Valley, this is a, a great refreshing stop. But for real, it's probably 10 degrees hotter just on that trail right there, up there coming in. Then uh, you get down here and it's, uh, it's, you know, about 10 degrees cooler. All right, there you can see there's the entrance trail. The falls actually keep going down quite a ways to the right and then there's, um, there's like a man-made, there's like a gate and a little area where you can't go down the falls any further. And then of course around the falls, there's a big uh, opening and that's where you go inside of the mountain and it starts getting a little more skinny and you have to kind of squeeze your way through and climb the falls if you want. I find it's a lot easier to just uh, walk through the rocks. It's really not that cold and it's pretty refreshing. Look at that boulder. That's a nice boulder. All right, so as you get up further up the falls, as you can see, there's part of the falls there. You go into this little cavern area. Like I said, very refreshing. It's uh, warmer out there. I, man, up here, I'd say at least 10, if not 15 degrees now, different. And uh, just over time, I guess this uh, canyon has worn its way down. And there's Colin climbing up the falls. Climbing up those falls can be very tricky, so it's not recommended for everyone. Make sure uh, you're safe and don't do what's beyond your means. It's probably really hard to hear me because of the falls, but this is basically the end of the falls. So this is what you get to go see. You have to go see it. So as you can see, as we're coming down, it can get busy and you can uh, make your way up there to the top and find that it's just packed with people. So choose your times of the day when you want to go and you may just want to wait, you know, outside a little while until it clears out. And now we make our trek back out of Zapata Falls. Here is the story of Zapata Falls if you want to pause it. <laughs> 